It's story time, sunshine. <laughs> Books read out loud. Invisible Lizard in Love by Kurt Cyrus and illustrated by Andy Atkins. Napoleon the Chameleon loved his spiffy limb. He loved blending in with every moss, fern, and fungus that grew on it. He loved his friends, too. When Mike and Polly came to play, the spiffy limb shook with fun. <laughs> it seemed that the laughter would never stop. <laughs> zoom, 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 bloom. But it did stop the day Mike met Mooka. Eee! Woo! said Mike. He totally flipped and off they tumbled on monkey business. Ooh, ooh, ee, ee! Then Polly met Pedro, and the two chattering parrots flapped away in search of seeds. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. What about me? asked Napoleon. The lizard plopped onto the moss. Monkeys have monkeys, he said. Parrots have parrots. Lizards have no one. Mm. He scratched a big, lonely heart into the moss. Then he scratched his initial inside the heart. His thoughts wandered as he scratched and scratched. This went on for days. Then, crack, went the rotten old limb. Uh-oh, said Napoleon. Snap! Down he went, zip, zip. Branches whipped by in a blur. The seventh limb slowed Napoleon down. Whap! And number eight stopped him. Moss and bark rained from the sky. Fern frones fluttered by. A warty lump stool fell onto the far end of the branch. <coughs> Napoleon held on. Well, here's a fine mess, said Napoleon. The only thing keeping the limb balanced is that big warty lump stool. Are you referring to me? said a lizard on the lump stool. I prefer to be called Josephine. Yikes, said Napoleon. A girl! It was a fine mess indeed. When Napoleon moved, the limp teetered one way. When Josephine moved, it tottered the other way. Stop squirming, said Josephine. Stop squirming, said Napoleon. Stop it, said Josephine. Stop it, said Napoleon. Stop mimicking me, said Josephine. Well, excuse me for being a chameleon, said Napoleon. Josephine had an idea. Let's both inch forward at the same time. Go very, very slowly. No problem, said Napoleon, who did everything very, very slowly. They each took half a step. The limp stayed level. Josephine took another step. Hey, called Napoleon. Where did you go? Don't leave me here. Look closely said Josephine. I'm in the whiffle blister bud. Napoleon blushed. Oh, I knew that. They kept on creeping. Down went the sun. You should wear sunset colors more often, said Josephine. They look really good on you. And you make a pretty good evening star, said Napoleon. Napoleon and Josephine met in the middle of the branch just as sunrise sparkled on the dew. You never told me your name, said Josephine. Napoleon, said Napoleon. The seesawing branch was an instant hit with the monkeys. The parrots liked it too. Up, down, up, down, up, down. But the lizards were happy just to watch. I declare, 
said Josephine. Are you blending with me? Can't help it, said Napoleon. Chameleon! Napoleon was wondering whether he would be alone by himself forever, and he was able to find his love at the most unexpected place. At first, like everyone who has someone new in their life, it takes some time for him to get used to Josephine. But as time passes, they understood each other better and became each other's companion. They even blended. How do you react when you meet someone new? Do you welcome them? Or have there been moments where you judge each other too quickly? I'm Karma Bella. Sunshine and I hope you enjoyed this book as much as we did. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share with a family you think will enjoy it too. Thanks for reading that with me.